Hi everyone, I am Mr. Lee. Today, I am going to introduce to you guys a little on the structures around your teeth and oral cavity. So first of all, our skull and face is composed of a few bones, namely the frontal bone, the parietal bone, the temporal bone, the sphenoidal bone, the ephemoidal bone, the lacrimal bone, the nasal bone, the zygomatic bone, the maxilla, and the mandible. So basically, the maxilla and the mandible make up our upper jaw and lower jaw, which is also why the upper teeth are known as the maxillary teeth and the lower teeth are known as the mandibular teeth. Moving on, for a normal children, they have 20 primary teeth, or we can call it deciduous teeth or milk teeth. So the primary teeth composed of central incisors which erupts around 6 to 10 months old, the lateral incisors around 12 to 15 months old, the canine around 16 to 24 months old, the first molar around 12 to 16 months old, and finally the second molar around 24 to 32 months old. The central incisors, lateral incisors and canine are replaced by the permanent central incisors, lateral incisors and canine respectively. However, for the first molar and second molar, they are replaced by the permanent first premolar and the second premolar. For a normal adult, we have 32 permanent teeth. It is composed of central incisors erupting around 6 to 7 years old, lateral incisor erupting around 7 to 8 years old, the canine erupting around 11 to 12 years old, first premolar erupting around 9 to 10 years old, second premolar 10 to 12 years old first molar 6 to 7 years old second molar 12 to 13 years old and finally finally the third molar also known as the wisdom tooth 17 to 21 years old so basically the incisors and the canine are used for tearing and incising food. Whereas for the premolars and molars, they are mainly used for chewing and grinding. This is why for herbivores such as cow, they have more molars and premolars than the incisors in order to chew and grind grass and leaves. On the other hand, for carnivores such as wolves, they have more sharp pointy canines and incisors to enable them to tear meat. For humans who are omnivores, we utilize both types of teeth. Next, I'm going to introduce you a little on the soft tissues in and around the oral cavity. So first of all, we have the upper and the lower lip. Next, we have the soft tissue around the teeth, which is known as the gum or gingiva. We have the hard palate. And more posterior to it, we have the soft palate. We have our uvula. Next, we have the tongue, in which the upper surface we know it as a dorsum. And the lower surface is the ventral 
of tongue. And lastly, beneath the tongue, we have our floor of mouth. So this is a brief introduction to the structures in and around the oral cavity. I hope this video benefits you all and I'll see you guys again. Thank you.